So, <coughs> three, two, one. Hey! Hey! Woo! That was a good intro. Yeah, yeah. We're getting better. It's spunky. <laughs> <laughs> like my feet. Oh, come on, Alex. <laughs> Ross, put the warning on this video. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Already. That, that doesn't warrant it. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to Badger's Borough Podcast. Uh, this week on. Uh, what is this? Badger's Borough Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> We have we have Alex. Hello. We have Ross. Hello. And <laughs> why are you so calm? And we have me. <laughs> and we have Ross. And Ross. Yeah. Yes. Don't forget about Ross. And Gus. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> um. So last podcast we talked about going to Comic Con in the future. We've yes. now just been. We have. Um. And Alex is also back from his holiday, which we also talked about in the last podcast. Um, so we're going to discuss that uh, this time. Uh, Chris can't be here um, because he's at McDonald's, um, <laughs> as always. But that's the only place he's been since last time, so there's not really much to catch up on. I hear the food's good. That's that's what he says. Yeah. <laughs> food's, cheap. food's cheap. Yeah. I I just went to McDonald's today, trying to steal his power back. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, we had two McDonald's when we were actually down like at Comic Con, like one on the way back and one while we were there. Yeah. Oh, no, it's, that's like that's like four times as many McDonald's as I would normally have. You would you would have half a McDonald's. I would have neg- no, I would have negative two McDonald's normally. <laughs> Fair enough. Mm-hmm. So um, so, yeah, yeah. So Jamie, we went to Comic Con. We did. Did you enjoy it? I I really did actually. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was hilarious because I got to travel with you and Jess and uh, that was just really good. And, that was uh, a delight in itself. Yeah, it was, it was a delight in itself. And um, it was just, just really, really cool just being away and down in Glasgow and with so many people that kind of made you feel like you were at home and not such an outcast nerd, um, you know, fucking loser type. It was your first time at MCM Glasgow, wasn't it? It was, yeah. yeah it was my second time. It had gotten a lot bigger since the last time I was there. Some would say it would doubled. Uh, it, it almost tripled, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. Like, um, you know how they had that second hall? Yeah. That was no. closed off last year. You weren't there, Alex. Why would <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that second hall gym was completely closed off last year. So they never had that. And we reckon, well, you reckon there was, sorry, there was probably about twice, if not three times as many people there as well. Oh, yeah, definitely, like... The Saturday when we went there first, it was probably, I want to say 2,000 folk more than what there was last time. Yeah, that. Um, I mean, I wasn't there last time, but there were significant amounts of people. There was a huge amount. There was a lot of folk. There was a lot of, on the second day Sunday, there was a shit ton more cosplayers, actually. I was expecting more cosplay on the Saturday. Yeah, I was too, but apparently Sunday is the day to cosplay. Yeah, but then you pointed out as well that Sunday's probably the day that more more people get off as standard, so it was yeah. probably the day more people came. Well, the thing is, Sundays are usually optional to work. Yeah. So yeah. more folk would have them off, whereas a Saturday, you're not <clears> kind of expected to work that, especially if you work in retail. Yeah. Oh, totally. Hey, do you know what, though? Um, not that I checked the ticket sales um, just before we left, but I checked them like um, sometime during the week, probably about when we recorded the podcast, actually before we left and Mm -hmm. um the saturday priorities were totally sold out and uh, so were the weekend passes but i noticed like there were still a significant amount of just standard entry sunday and priority sunday tickets that were not sold i swear it was fucking busier on the sunday though it was it was absolutely busier on the sunday that was it was just really weird there was a lot of good a lot of good cosplays this year um like there was, there was uh, somebody that cosplays as Ruby Rose from... Uh, oh, she was fucking perfect. Yeah, like, the scythe was fucking spot on, the outfit was spot on, and she actually looked a bit like what you'd expect a human Ruby to look like, like she had the face <laughs> Human <laughs> Ruby? Like the real one. <laughs> but yeah, like, like... that was a really good cosplay. Yeah. I feel like we uh, you cut Alex off for something there, by the Sorry, way. Sorry, Alex. Uh, fucking the thought's gone. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was gonna say something about math. 
um, in Comic Con. It's not a strong point. Oh, that's what I was going to say. I, it, it's more likely <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, would have got like more folk thinking, well, you know, it's Sunday, it's quiet, I'll just get it on the door. Could so be, they, yeah. they wouldn't have booked tickets in advance. That's that's a good point, actually. That's pretty cool. Yeah, um, I can... that. What was them... man? That's what I do. <laughs> yeah, you well, can't I mean, see it, but I just pointed my head and pointed at the TV. It's not. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was, was going to say it's not what you do. You you um you, you you give people money for clothes. Yeah. You're actually the opposite of most clothing shops. Yeah. And nothing they have a good deal. Why that? <laughs> <laughs> Ross, what was your favourite bit? Probably getting my picture taken with Tarful. Which I'll insert to the podcast just now because it was a fucking well done costume. Like, it was, yeah, that was better. It was movie worthy. Like, that's a fucking Wookiee in it. Yeah, the big Wookiee. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was guys. probably one of the best bits for me. Was uh, was that there was a lot of really good Star Wars cosplays. There really was actually. Um, I per- I I particularly liked the guys that like. Um, did you notice by the way that there was significantly more scout troopers on the Saturday, but on yes. the sun but on the Sunday there was more stormtroopers and a Darth Vader. I, I feel that like can make sense. I feel like they'd planned that, and it was really funny. I feel like they did as well. Yeah. I like the picture that you took of the scout trooper and stormtrooper, and they look like they've just kind of noticed you're taking pictures of them. Yeah, because they're not facing you; they're side onto you, and their heads are just cocked to the camera yeah I just fucking I love it it just looks like they're like if they had a face it'd be like the fuck you doing mate <laughs> the funny thing the funny thing is as well is I actually asked them for their uh, for a picture of them first <laughs> so I don't know why they kind of looked like that um, yeah. you should cut that photo in at this I'm, point I'm as well to, yeah. Yeah. have I'm you got all those photos, photo, yeah. I've got all those photos yeah. yeah oh yeah I sent them into the you me and Jess chat yeah cool. so what was your best thing Jimmy like what did you enjoy the most uh, I got to meet Tom Ska, which I was really fucking happy about. Oh, that was that was really awesome. See when you were waiting in the line. <laughs> when you were waiting in the line, like me and Jess were standing there, and you knew how like we kind of left you. Yeah, yeah. When we were walking away, Jess went, "It's a bit like having a child, isn't it?" And I'm like, "What do you mean? Like we're just kind of leaving him on his own to do his own thing because we're not really interested." Like, <laughs> I just imagine this is what having a kid is like. And then I looked back, <laughs> and you looked so happy to be in that line. You were grinning ear to ear. I was like, "Oh, he's a little cutie, isn't he?" <laughs> do you know what's even creepier about that both you and Jess are younger than me yeah I know <laughs> <laughs> but I've never I've never seen somebody stand in a line and look so happy to be in a line Like yeah but I mean I'm trying to think like can you imagine for you Ross probably meeting like I, I don't fucking know like one of the Gentlemen. one of the one of the yeah something like that james earl jones or fucking mark hamill you know you know somebody that you've like you've known you know in movies and tv or whatever for your whole life Uh um and you've just like really quite respected them and then you just like randomly thrown upon you without actually knowing that it was going to be there you get the chance to meet someone you fucking wait in a line and you'll be happy about it i would but then i'd be quite nervous about it because there's people saying never, never meet your heroes. I'd be worried that that would happen. Yeah, yeah. You think they'd, do you think they'd be an asshole about it? Yeah, like I, I wouldn't like to go in and find out. Oh, actually, I've respected you for years, and you're a complete utter cunt. I've got to say, um, I've I very much liked I very much liked Tom Scott. He was he was much as I expected. Um, he was. Your beard, I saw that. He, he did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's about as random as I expected. <laughs> Um, <laughs> about as random as I expected. Yeah, he he let me take photos with him. He gave me a signed comic of his. Um, we hugged. He touched my beard. Uh, we just had a like um a good little chat because I went to speak to him earlier in the day, but to actually get in line and get photos and signings from him, you had to get a ticket. So I spoke yeah. to him a little bit earlier on, got my ticket to come back later, and then went back later to then see him again to get a photo and an autograph and stuff. Enough. We also saw the person that um, voiced Naruto, didn't we? Yeah. She was there. Yeah. Loads of people were fucking uh, stalking her. She was committed, by the way. She was there all fucking time. Yeah, she was. Um, oh, like, was it the little Japanese lady or the, like, the English dub one? The English dub one. The English dub one. Oh, that's not as cool. <laughs> <laughs> still not authentic. Yeah, still can't go. Cool. Yeah. Uh, what else? 
else was there? We saw a lot of things. Yeah, we saw a lot of camel toe. Camel toe. Like, oh, there was the horror, the horror Comic Con, wasn't there? The horror Comic Con. He was a good guy. Yeah, he was. He was Funny. something else. I don't know if I've told you this, Alex. Have I? I don't think so. Right. Uh, oh no, you haven't. This is brilliant. <laughs> so, you know that guy from the South Park episode where they play World of Warcraft, the big fat. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Picture him. <laughs> All right. In a skin tight green leotard and no <laughs> underwear on which by the way like was so easy to spot he had no underwear on um, with the tiniest little like nibble of a penis just ever so pleasant nibble of a penis <laughs> like, <laughs> like if you went to eat it that's all you'd get was a nibble <laughs> It's like even bite size. <laughs> like, do, you remember, do you remember the what was it? The millions. Aye. One of them. Fuck <laughs> me. One single one. That's like it, honestly, it was just one so little like, million. Like when you do that, got your nose in the way, your thumb just kind of pokes through. Well, maybe not yours, but like my thumb just kind of pokes through. <laughs> but like he had fucking, he had sweat stains all over him. Oh him. man. Because Comic Con was fucking hot. Like, yeah. It was. We went the first day and we were complete numpties and wore hoodies. What? That was a mistake. So we immediately went and bought a litre bottle of water each. And then the second day we left the hotel and it was quite warm. So we were like, fuck it, we'll leave the hoodies in the car and we'll Aye. we'll just go around t-shirt. So glad we did that like because Sunday just seemed to be hotter. Uh, it yeah. probably would be. The Sunday was almost just as bad and we were, you know, we were not wearing an, an extra layer. Yeah. Um which was just a show of how fucking hot it was in there. There was just so many people. It really was. There was yeah, crowds, really, crowds get warm. There was a really good Pyramid Head cosplay. Oh, he was great. He was did, you hear, did you hear the scream that he kind of practiced doing as well? It was fucking authentic as no, shit. No, I, I never really got close enough to him to hear it. Uh, when I think it was um, it was me and Gary. Mind when we kind of split off and did like one of our final walk rounds. Yeah. We passed by him at one point, and he was like doing a he was doing like a pose for some guy that was taking a photo, and um, uh, one other person walked up to him and said, "Oh, can you do the scream?" And he did the scream, and I swear to God, it was authentic as shit. Fucking cool. Nice. What are you that, that's. Oh, on you, Alex. Is that is that, <laughs> that that scream still brings fucking nightmares, man? <laughs> Really and I can't to... play horror games very well because of fucking Silent Hill. That game ruined me. Alex, I think <laughs> you and I should play Alien Isolation together. I don't. I'd fucking pay. I'd pay to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should. I think it'd be brilliant. Right. With, with face cam. Yeah, with face cam. Uh, I'll do it. <laughs> I, one of the things I like, I really like. He said it. He said it. He has to. Yeah, he has. One of the things I really liked about Comic Con though was uh, one the amount of families that were there. We saw a lot of families. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you um, commented on that. Yeah, I, I remember having a, a long discussion with you about this when we were sitting at that table. Mm-hmm. There was a lot of families, and you could tell, like, they were maybe only here for one person, but the whole family did it anyway, which yeah. I thought was really good. Like, um, oh, nice like, there was quite a lot of parents who were quite clearly only there because their son or daughter wanted to be there, which, mm. to me, I'm all about because that's just really cool par- parenting. Yes. Yeah. The other thing I really liked as well was that the there was a large amount of folk who maybe had like some sort of condition or disability there, mm. and they just looked happy as fuck to be there. Like there was one guy I saw yeah. who, um, he was in a wheelchair, and he had like a he had a Batman cape on, Batman top, and he got his picture taken with somebody who had cosplayed as uh, cosplayed as Batgirl, and she did a really good job right. of it. He was so fucking happy to get his picture taken with her, and like that's good, man. Like as they were walking away, I overheard him being like, "Oh, thank you so much, thanks, thanks. You've really made my day," and it just made me kind of happy. Yeah. And like Jamie touched on it, that a lot of the folk that were there, for them, it was like the the chance to be normal, if that makes sense. Like, yeah. They're in a group of people that actually like the same stuff that they like. Hmm. Which was really good, but it's it's always a good atmosphere there. I said, I've not managed to get along it yet, which is like a great pain with the ability just arrange to have that particular week off work yeah. or weekend off work, which again it's a, it's a great deal of <clears throat> inconvenience given how fucking sporadic 
our fucking work work weeks are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would definitely take it only some but some year. Hopefully next year. I would Hopefully. definitely go next year if I were you, because if last year to this year is any indication, it will be even bigger next year. Yeah. And even this year, it was really good for the size it was. Yeah, yeah so I, um, I, I'd imagine it would be even. It would be, you know, twice the size again. Hopefully next year. Yeah. There's um, some lasses I knew that went to last year, uh, and they went again this year, and they said the same thing. It just it got bigger, but I think that's just because it's, it's getting more well more well known. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, it's becoming much more mainstream. Oh, MCM's pretty pretty recent. It's like MCM Glasgow it was a pretty recent one, as far as I know. Yeah, the first one was I want to say three years ago. I want to say yeah. it was really really recent. Yeah, it's only been running like th- four years yeah. max. Yeah, yeah. But there's that there's that other Comic Con that runs earlier in the year. Uh, I want to say it's the Civic Halls one or the Art Center one. I, I can't remember fucking where it is. Uh, well, you've got smaller ones as well, like Decon and stuff in Dundee. Yeah. Yeah, that's quite a small one. Although that's in Dundee. I went to that one last year, and there was really good cosplays there as well. Yeah. Like really, really good ones. Well, well, these folks just quite look for that sort of thing, though. Yeah, they do. I would quite like to do it. I imagine we've got Should... quite a lot of plans um, for like cosplays and stuff. Oh, Ross! I, before I forget again, by the way, um, I I think I even forgot to mention this to you before we even got back, and even since then, did you see the family of Pokemon trainers? No, I didn't. Wait, what? They were amazing. the The dad was Ash. Uh-huh. the The wife was Misty, and they had a little son that was in like a fucking Squirtle onesie. Oh no, I did see that. <laughs> I did oh, see that sounds that. awesome. And it was just amazing. It just looked so good. Yeah. Did you see the uh, the, fan, the Star Wars family? Yeah, they were amazing. The fucking baby was Yoda. Yeah, the baby was Yoda. Like, <laughs> like the mom had one of those uh, like blanket things that wraps around your chest, and like she had the baby on her back, and the baby had like a Yoda hat on. Mm-hmm. The mom, nice. I can't remember who the mom was, but the dad was a Jedi, mm. and their daughter was Princess Leia. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's cool it, as yeah, it, it looked really good. Um. Although we could speak about this for longer, we are pushing time, so we're going to speak about Alex's holiday for a wee bit. <laughs> so Alex, take it away. Yeah. What'd you do? I sweated a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you took a lot of photos of floors, which I was really happy. Yeah, about. I, I need to get that. I need to get my holiday album put up somewhere. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to put them in to the, the podcast at this point in sequence. Yeah. Um, it's like 30 odd photos of just the fucking floor and my feet. I was, I was about to say, please tell me that every single photo you took was just off the floor. There, there was a few that I took that weren't the floor, <laughs> but pretty much every single one was just the floor. Uh, I'll take a quick look at my, my photo album just now and see. <laughs> I don't know why you just decided to do that, by the way, but it's just really funny. It's I don't know. The very first I, one you did was a picture of the airport floor. <laughs> and then it was just, oh, yeah, just saying it was here. Who said, man, I really hope all his pictures are of... Uh, Flooring, and he was like, yeah. he was just like fucking done. <laughs> You're yeah, because I done. I got one in the airport and then one outside the airport, and that's yeah. when Jamie said about like wanting it, them all to the floor. So I was like, fucking yeah, let's do this shit. <laughs> so I've got a few. I've got one for the, before I got on the train to go back to fucking my, my hotel. One in the train. Uh, one sitting on like some fucking bench in the sun. That was a misery. Ross, work out which ones these are as he's saying them and cut them in. Yeah. Uh, got, a, got a few more or less. I even got one at the beach. You saw something I went to a fucking beach. beach didn't you? I did see something interesting. <laughs> this, this is where the parental advisory, not the parental advisory, the content warning is going to go up. This is, this is why it's going I'll, up. I'll keep it clean. <laughs> I'm putting the I'll, be, I'll keep it as clean as I can. Oh, sweet, fuck us. Right. So I'm, I'm lying there on the beach last day of my holiday. You know, it was fucking Monday. It was hot as dicks. So I thought, right, I'll go chill out in the sand. You know, went, got me towel, walked all the way down, took me half an hour. You're fucking violent. <laughs> Just picture Alex with a fucking face cloth. <laughs> <laughs> no, a little bigger than that. It was like a you know, bath towel sort of thing. <laughs> you know, fucking march my way down to the beach, pitch up, lie down, get comfy. You know, make a sand pillow. <laughs> <laughs> you should do that. Just gather up the sand under your, under your pillow so you can't lean your head on. But it's like, I don't know how I noticed it. I think maybe I, I turned to get, like, my fags at my bag. And I just happened to look just off behind me. And I see this woman and her man lying on the beach. And she's wearing one of those sort of 
thongy bikini things. Yeah. But the way she was lying, like sort of on her side, with her knees up. Uh huh. She's like cracking <laughs> herself. I'll say that now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, you know, I sort of glanced. I was like, all right, cool. And then I had to look back because I was a hundred percent certain that I seen flap. <laughs> and as it turns out, I did. This woman's full. I think it was left fucking fanny flap was just hanging out. He's <laughs> <Just, laughs> bold as brass on the beach in fucking Barcelona, minge out. <laughs> and I'm sitting there like, yeah, I mean, I'm surrounded by old women in their sixties with their fucking tits out, and it was horrendous. So this is this one glimmering, slightly tanned vagina that made life a little bit better. <laughs> Story. <laughs> it's a bit of funny, Jimmy. Of course, it's fucking majestic. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad this is. <laughs> so yeah, I'd, I'd say yeah. You know, I'm gonna lie here for a bit. Was it for two hours? <laughs> <laughs> what, just uh, it the whole time, or like? No, I just like I'm. No, like my my concern was like if I if I got up and walk away now, she's gonna know I've seen it. <laughs> that that was my thought process. If I get up and leave. She'll know. Also, I was with. I was with She'll know. The, I was with Nicole as well. That was a fucking point at the hall. She called me disgusting, but she, yeah, she's fucking right. But, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's known me fucking nine years at this point. She, <laughs> she, she knows the territory. Yeah. Uh, You know, we was, was doing the sex, as you do. Uh, <laughs> finished up. <laughs> shot my wallet. Spunked, whatever you want to fucking call it. <laughs> took off the condom and tied it. And you want to go, want to go like, cuddling, so I threw the rubber away. <laughs> yeah, threw it onto the floor. Yeah. How, how do we cuddle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once that was done, I went up to go for a piss. Because I'm a romantic like that, even fucking announced it. <laughs> uh, up forgetting I'd thrown... This used condom onto the floor. Oh, I think I know where this is going. I did not. <laughs> did it burst? Did it burst. <laughs> <laughs> no, it gets better. So, you know, it bursts with you know a pretty loud crack because it's a wee fucking rubber bag. Was it like if you like get a fruit and squeeze it from one end and push all the yogurt to the top? Was it like that? Yeah, it's about the same amount of fucking coverage. <laughs> <laughs> it went fucking. Up my leg, <laughs> sprayed out across the floor, and it hit the door because where it was sitting. So it was, you know, it was right next to my fucking door. I was like, "All right, cool. I'll go I'll, I'll clean that up." You know, fucking cleaned it up. Went for, went for my piss. Came back and went to bed. Didn't think I had another. The next day, <laughs> cut to the next day. I'm welcome. New yeah. scene. I'm welcome. Is in the room? Oh no! Stands on the floor and asks, "Why is the floor sticky?" <laughs> and at which point I quickly came and I just thought that that spelled something. I spelled juice. Well, I said I spelled. I sp- yeah, it's, it's true. I spelled juice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I spelled some form of beverage fluid onto the floor. <laughs> so, I hope that was the way you put it to your mum, just with like a really stammered, like surprised face. No, I, I tell her I spelled orange juice because I'm just poker faced. <laughs> I uh, imagine you could poker face quite well. I, I managed to get out of tonight's went on my wish. I just nerfed it. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking lost a condom once as well. What do you mean? Like, tell... what do you mean? Like, you took it, you took it, and then like it didn't arrive with you, or do you mean like, <laughs> no, like you were using, no, like, with... you were using it, and then you just didn't find it again? <laughs> no, like you know, but same kind of scenario as the previous incident. Well, it's kind of in that you were <laughs> having sex. What is a yeah, that's what's doing. It's a fucking Get like a stretch. To... <laughs> I've got one. <laughs> You're an animal. <laughs> yeah, and then so much as like throat is like stretched and pinged it. <laughs> <laughs> I held it. <laughs> I held it. Hit the back wall. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I went to find it maybe 20 minutes later. I couldn't find it. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> uh, I've got some, like, I must have had some kind of, like, fucking, like, condom thieving fucking gremlin or some shit. <laughs> uh, did I, did I, this was, like, this was, like, five years ago. I can't figure out where the fuck it went. I've moved since then. <laughs> Sexual disasters, man. <laughs> did did uh, do you know what I want to do so badly? I want to make I want to make a sound bite. I want to make a sound bite out of, out of the bit where Alex says that he couldn't find it because he went so squeaky. <laughs> uh, did you like Did you like the last sound bite I made of you? By the way, Alex. What was that? Did you like the last sound bite that I made of you? By the way. <laughs> What was that? It's just, it's just literally. <laughs> oh, the it's, not, it's, it's not even a second long, and it just goes, "I like cats." <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll do. <laughs> I, I really oh, want to know where it went, man. <laughs> <laughs> it haunts me. Do you, could um, could potentially could your your um your girlfriend or wife at the time or whatever it was um, did would she have picked it up and put it in the bin for you? No, she was fucking asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Was she asleep while you had sex with her? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. I'll look my victims up. <laughs> Vic- <laughs> victims? <laughs> <laughs> You've seen me, Jimmy. Anything that happens to me from this, it's, it's, it's an atrocity. <laughs> <laughs> Willing victims, I might add. Willing. Very important. Willing victims, victims, you might say. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, I swear to God. <laughs> every, every time we do a podcast, you try to kill me. Yeah, oh well, yeah. You got killed. Oh, You've been killed good this time. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I nearly saw Jesus this time. <laughs> oh, Ross, chat blocks are going to be fun. <laughs> oh my God. That, I might actually fucking fulfill my goal. Alex, I might make uh, the episode with me and you a two-parter. I you honestly should. might. It, it, we, we might have to. If it's anything fucking like this. <laughs> it'll, be like, it'll be like a part of our story, then the next part will just be us fucking laughing. Because <laughs> <laughs> we had to cut it out. Which I don't want to do. <laughs> Dude, I've never, sw- I've never sweat so much in my fucking life. <laughs> you're just, place, okay. you're not a fan of like sun and heat anyway. No, I'm not. So going to a Mediterranean country was probably not the wisest move. It wasn't your brightest of ideas, really. No, wasn't probably your idea. So. Oh fucking <laughs> yeah. Um, we are at time up. I oh, know. I know. One a. I've actually let, I've actually let us run over just a little bit as well. Yeah, yeah you know better. <laughs> no, Ross is editing this one. He gets fucked. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, well, it's fine. I got, I'll get plenty of footage for it tomorrow night. So. Yeah. Sweet. But yeah. Fucking, we could fine. make um, we could get quite a, a good bit of footage out of that. Actually, we could probably get two or two podcasts worth of footage out of that if we wanted. Probably, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, um, if you've enjoyed this podcast um, and you want to see more, go to our website, www.badgerandpals.com and that's where all of our content content is, every single little bit of it. Check us out. Insert belts here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and just before we go, I just want everybody to know that uh, Ross <laughs> wrote that down <laughs> I before it started. Whipped his little notebook. I might his notebook. <laughs> I'm, I'm professional as fuck. His little badger and pals. He's got, a, he's got a little badger and pals sticker on the front of it, so he knows which one that is. I was oh, actually going to ask you: Is that no? Why don't have we not got a notebook in the store? I'm sure we do. Um, yeah, we, we do. We're add one. Yeah, we do now. It'll be, it'll yeah. be, it'll be in the store before this podcast comes out. It might be done before this podcast ends. Just give me two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> not if I end it now. Nah. Give me no. Because I'm editing it, so this goes as long as I want it to. No, I, I've got the off button. <laughs> yeah, you do. Because your recorder won't work. Ah, fuck, yeah. <laughs>
Right. Um, so fucking shout to the typing. Right. That's, so that's, that's me going to the store. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that's uh, that's goodbye from all of us then, guys. Yes. All right. Thanks very much for recording with me again. No bother, mate. Anytime. No bother, man. <laughs> right. See you all later. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.